If you use Linux on Windows through WSL, you need this tool. This is a must have tool for WSL. This is called WSL Manager. This is actually a free and open source project at GitHub. And there is a premium plan too. Uh, if you try to get it from Microsoft Store, uh, yeah, it, it, depending on where you live, the pricing may vary, okay? So that's that. But again, you can go to the GitHub page and then go to releases. And then from here, you can actually get it for free. You can get the zip file, the portable version of this program or unsigned installer. This is how this program looks. One of the reason why you should be using this tool is that by default, WSL distros gets installed on C drive. There is no option to install WSL distros to another drive by default. It just gets installed to the C drive. And that's something that I don't like actually. I want it to install on secondary drive. So with this tool, it's pretty easy. Plus you can also move uh, the WSL distro to another drive. So let me actually show you guys where this WSL distro is installed right now. I actually moved it from C drive to D drive. So at the top, you can see this is a D drive and documents. Actually, my user folders are moved to the D drive. So when you use this tool to move the uh, distro, you can go into the settings. It will automatically move it to the documents folder. So if you want to do this, like move it to the another drive, make sure that your user folder, at least the documents folder is uh in secondary drive so let me actually show you guys location you can see this is a d drive it will automatically just move it to the documents and then wsl and then the distro name okay let's say you want to install a linux distro just directly to another drive so you can click on this plus icon to create a new instance give it a name let's say kali linux okay and search here Kali Linux because that's what I'm trying to install. Yeah, there are like many like official ones. Ubuntu, Fedora, Rocky Linux, Alpine, Debian, OpenSUSE. And yeah, okay, these are the official flavors. So let's say I want to install the Kali Linux. I can just search it from here and save location. So this is the magical part. Create your uh, folder let's say Kali Linux okay let's say I'm gonna save it here D WSL Kali Linux okay you can also create a username here but it says only on Debian or Ubuntu so this is not a Debian but it is based on Debian so I'm not gonna create we can create it later so I'm gonna click on create now it will download the distro and install it on the secondary drive so this is the easiest way to install Linux WSL distros to another drive so here it created the instance and we can run it now there is one error that i always get and i don't know how to fix this basically uh, there is a theme and icons when you install them on c drive the default locations those themes and icons are missing so it will give you this error i'll, I'll show you guys what i mean okay so now if i go into the location folder location so you can see this is on d drive i don't really need the ubuntu instance too i'm just i was trying to do something and i failed so i'm gonna delete it okay so now let me show you guys what i mean by that error okay i'm gonna install ubuntu to the default folder okay so, or i can just go into the microsoft store let's let's download it from here why not and here we can actually see okay username kb password very strong just that that's the password ubuntu yeah this is what i mean okay so basically we get a theme for uh, a wsl distro uh, when we open the wsl terminal okay so this is the wsl terminal so when we install this wsl distro to another drive or move it to another drive we don't get this theme and that's the error that we get okay let me actually try to move this i'm gonna stop this and i'm gonna go to the settings and i'm gonna click on move move and it's gonna take some time it's basically going to move it to the documents folder okay wsl and ubuntu it's it's still moving okay it's uh it says moved successfully 
and it imported automatically it basically exports it and imports it automatically you can also do it from the a terminal too if you know the terminal commands so this is basically like gui for easy use okay now if we go into the linux here you can see ubuntu is here and uh, yeah but the actual folder where it's installed is actually here in d drive or in documents folder now if i run this i'm gonna get that error or sometime you don't get that error but oh okay it fixed it i don't know sometime that it won't get the theme okay sometime you get that error <laughs> i think i just wasted your time but basically sometime you don't get the theme and it gives you the error basically that's it okay and there are some other things that you can do you can do a cleanup and there are many other things rename uh, copy it or uh, save template you can create a template for creating a new instance after this okay if you go into the settings here you can change few settings you can enable system d or disable it okay you can enable many other things related to uh, linux and all that yeah it's a pretty simple yet really useful application for wsl if you use wsl okay you can start and stop wsl from here for me this is actually super useful just because i can install wsl distros to secondary drive by default or i can move them okay so and again there are many other things that you can do if you use wsl for your work you'll probably find something useful in here okay so yeah that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.